All right, so here's a question from Lauren. I don't know where to put the phone. All right, I have a general question. I hope you can answer on your YouTube channel. I can. Um, I tried starting recovery on my own a month ago. For years, I had restricted and counted calories. Although it was a decent amount of calories, it was still too low for me. I was weightlifting and I didn't have my period. So, listening to your videos, I decided to stop restricting and start eating. I was eating a ton, over 4,000 calories a day. It's not really a ton, is it? Like, a ton is a ton, just saying. I know, because we get hay delivered ton by the ton. Like, a ton is more than that, Lauren. Um, you're exaggerating. Um, the bloating and swelling came on, just as you said, and my fiancé got worried. He started, he said telling a person to eat whatever after having an eating disorder isn't good because they don't know how to eat normally. Oh, was your fiancé an eating disorder expert, Lauren? So I went with him to a dietitian, and she's put me on a 2,500 calorie diet. Now I can only eat six meals a day and they have to be spaced out. The point being to stop me from constantly wanting food. Um, <laughs> this diet plan is causing anxiety for me. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I've stopped the swelling and bloating, but I'm hungry all the time. It is miserable. I'm not sure if this is wrong to be doing or constantly eating is what I need to do to heal. I need your help determining what to do. Wow. So, that, that whole thing about, so you're on this meal plan, diet plan as you call it, to stop yourself from constantly wanting food. That's not going to stop you constantly wanting food. You constantly want food for a really good reason. Because you're in malnutrition. So eating systematically less food is not going to stop you constantly wanting food. You know what it's going to do though? It's probably going to help you gain some weight, which is great because your body wants to gain weight. So it's going to gain weight on whatever you eat. But you'll gain weight and still constantly want food because your brain needs to know that there's abundant food out there before it knows that the famine is over. And your brain doesn't know like, oh, I'm just eating six, and when I'm talking about your brain, I'm talking brainstem area, the preliterate part, your brainstem area doesn't know like, oh, it's okay, there's lots of food out there, I'm just only eating six meals or, or three meals and three snacks a day because that's what I want and that's because the dietitian set out. Your brainstem area just knows I'm asking for food and it's not coming. What's the conclusion it's going to draw? There's not enough food. Therefore, it's going to go into scarcity mindset. Therefore, it's going to continue to want food the whole time, regardless of the fact that you're eating and you're gaining weight. That's just my opinion, though. <laughs> um, yeah. So your dietitian is telling you to restrict, let's be blunt. And you're trying to recover from a restrictive eating disorder. It's a lot of restriction. Hmm. That's an interesting approach. Unfortunately, it's the approach of the majority of dietitians that treat eating disorders, which is kind of fucked up, isn't it? But there we go. So, Lauren, you don't need my help determining what to do. You're telling me, like you've put it in block capitals, I am hungry all the time. You're looking to me for permission to eat a load of food. And like, okay, let, let, let's just, so your fiance is like, you're eating too much food. Well, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> No comment. I, don't, I can't say anything about that politely. So I just, I guess I'll not say anything at all. Um, but all I will say is you've written me an email asking me to give you permission to eat without restriction, to eat as much as you really want to eat. You've written me an email asking for me to give you permission to do what you want to do. Lauren, do what you want to do. Be truthful. The truth is, as you've written in block capitals, I am hungry all the time. That's the truth. Be truthful in your actions. If you are hungry all the time, eat.